Hello, my name is Dr. Ken Botterford and I'm the Director of Bands at Jacksonville State University in Jacksonville, Alabama. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about our marching band program, the Marching Southerners, and we're going to take you through a series of our marching techniques. Uh, this is the way that we start out band camp every year, and if you happen to be a student that would like to participate in the Marching Southerners, or even if you're a junior, this video will help you learn what our marching style is like. In the Marching Southerners, as you can see, we have uh, a very large band. We usually have in excess of 500 members in the band. Last year we had about 520. So one of our biggest tasks each year is taking these students from all over the country and teaching them our marching style. Because when they come to us, they have different marching styles from their high school band, and we have to try to make everybody look the same before our first performance. So I've entitled this session, Marching 101, going through our technique with the Marching Southerners. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is the most important thing that we stress before we even begin our marching technique, and that is posture. In the Marching Southerners, it's very important that you have a certain look when you go on that field, a look of confidence, and your posture just has to be premier. Um, if you uh, have ever seen a marching band perform whenever the, the posture is not uh, one of the prominent things they work on, the band just doesn't have that sense of confidence. Uh, and no matter how well they move their feet in time, they just never look really good. And I'm sure that you know what I'm talking about. So I'm going to introduce one of my graduate assistants, Mr. Caleb McDonald, and he's going to help me as I talk through these points uh, on our posture that we require for the Southerners. The first thing we want to talk about is the position of your feet. In the Marching Southerners, we stand in what we call first position, and it's with the heels together and the toes apart. And we call that a 45 degree angle. It may not be a perfect 45 degree angle, but if you can imagine a tennis ball being in the um, arch of your foot between both of your feet, that's about what we use as our 45 degree angle. The reason we stand like this is because you can control your balance much better when your feet are apart rather than together, okay? Now, as I told you earlier, the most important thing is the posture. I'm gonna get Caleb to turn to his side and I'm gonna get him to show you poor posture. I'm going to ask him to bring his horn up, and it's not going to be really up at the audience. Now, you've probably seen a lot of bands that may look like that. That just doesn't look very confident whenever someone is performing. With the Southerners, we have this five points that we talk to our students about. The first thing we try to do, I'm going to get Caleb Delory's instrument, is we start trying to get the head lined up with the shoulders. And the way we do that, we get the students to relax their neck and kind of look down. And then they're going to roll their shoulders forward and up and around and lock them in. And then they're going to pull their head back to where it's right over their shoulders. Already you can see a difference in his posture. And notice his head automatically went to a 10 degree angle. We preach that to all of our students as well because we never want you to look down at the ground. We want you to look up. And then when he brings his horn up with his head at a 10 degree angle, look at the bell of the instrument. It's pointing up at a 10 degree angle as well. That way the sound goes up over the wall or whatever you have at the, the bottom of the stadium and it pushes the sound up into the audience. Now, Caleb, go back to that poor posture with the horn kind of at an angle at the ground. See the difference in that? Now go to the good posture with the upper body at a 10 degree angle. Completely different person. The next thing that we do, once we get the head lined up over the shoulders, we try to make sure that the shoulders are lined up over the hips. So once again, he may roll his shoulders up and lock them into position. He makes sure they're locked over the hips. We want the hips to be in line with the ankles so that everything is perfectly straight. At this point, we ask all of our members to put the majority of their weight on the front two-thirds of their feet or the balls of their feet. And that kind of gives them a, um, a sense of leaning towards the audience. So you'll see Caleb kind of lean forward just a little bit, and it just makes him look more aggressive, like he's in control whenever an audience member is looking at him from the front. And I always tell the band, I said, imagine yourself on the beach with a breeze coming from behind. And when I say that, I just see the whole band kind of grow an inch in, in height, and they all start leaning forward. Now look at Caleb when he puts his horn up, 
He's got correct posture, and he's leaning toward the audience. He looks like he means business, and you know from looking at him, the performance is probably going to be great. Now, once again, I want to give another demonstration of poor posture. He can just go to that position, and then the posture that we use as a marching southerner. That's what you should strive to look like before you ever take your first step. Once everyone understands what we expect for them to look like, we move to our, our forward movement. And this is very important because we're going to talk about the initiation of the very first step that everyone takes. And it's so important that we get that together so that everything is synchronized as the band moves around the field. Once again, Caleb is going to demonstrate these points. So one of the first things that we want to talk about is the breaking of the knee. And this is how we initiate that very first step and we make sure that everyone steps together. When I talk about breaking the knee, that is where you actually bend the knee and prep to take that first step. So if Caleb is going to step off on beat one, then on the and beat before one is whenever he will break the knee. So we're going to get him to demonstrate that. Five and six and seven and eight and. So once we accomplish that, then we're pretty confident that most everybody's first step is going to be together. So let's go ahead and we'll fast forward to our very first step together. And I'm going to still get him to separate the two and kind of do it snappy with the breaking of the, the knee on and and then stepping on beat one. When he steps on beat one, I want you to notice the placement of his foot. The heel is going to stay close to the ground or the grass, and the toe is going to be high in the air so that we can roll through. We use our heels and our feet as shock absorbers because if we march flat-footed, we're going to be bouncing all over the place, and your instrument is not going to make a good seal on the lips, and it's going to make your tone quality poor. So, Caleb, let's go all the way to beat one, and we will do a separation in between, and then we'll show you how we smooth that out. Five and six and seven and eight and one. So you notice that's two complete different moves. Now look at his foot. See how the, the, the heel's still on the ground and the toe is up? That's how you should look in the first step. Let's take that back. And eventually, once the members get comfortable with that, we say, okay, now we have to smooth it out to make it look like one motion. Now this time when he steps, I want you to watch his right foot as he steps out with the left foot the heel on the right foot is going to start to come up and he's going to smooth out that motion between breaking the knee and taking the first step. Here we go. One step, five and six and seven and eight and one. So you saw that was very, very smooth and look how straight the legs are. The heels up on the back foot and on the front, the toes up and it hasn't completely rolled down yet. So we hold them in this position to get them to learn to balance. And it's not very easy to stand still in that position. But if you can balance in that position when you're moving forward, it just gives you a lot more control. So now we're going to take that first step forward and we're going to actually get Caleb to move forward four steps. And I want you to watch with each step how the toe is high and then it rolls down into position. Five and six and seven and eight and one, two, three, four. So you notice that the, the, the legs are prim primarily straight. We land on the heels and we roll through. And also, I'm going to get Caleb to back up just a little bit. Caleb, could you demonstrate when we come into a halt? You know, we always want to keep that 45 degree angle in the feet so that we can keep our balance. But when you start marching, your feet are going to go parallel like they're in uh, skis, like you're, you're snow skiing. But when you come into that halt, you're going to go back to that 45 degree angle so that you can keep your balance. So Caleb, just take a couple of steps forward. You know, we'll do four again and watch how the, the, the feet are parallel as he's moving forward. And then on the very last step, he will take that foot. He will turn it out to the 45 and then the other foot will turn to the 45 when it closes. Five, six, seven and eight and one, two, three, four, place. And so we place that at the 45 so they're ready to stand still again in that position. Now that we've talked about the forward movement, we're gonna to move to the backward movement. And once again, I'm gonna use Caleb as an example to show you the proper way that we move backwards. We want to keep our legs as straight as possible and you're actually gonna grow about an inch in height because we march up on the balls of our feet 
or the, the top two, the front two thirds of your feet. And we refer to that as the platform. We want you to stay on the platform. So I'm going to get Caleb to go up onto the balls of his feet so you can see what it looks like. It's almost like a plie position. That's really what your feet look like when we're moving backwards. Now, he can go back to a normal position, and when we take that first step backwards, not only are you, you pushing one of your legs back, but you're also going to go up on those platforms at the same time, and you almost get the uh, illusion of like an airplane taking off. Think about how an airplane look when it looks when it starts to take off from the ground. That's the way our feet will look when we start to move backwards. So I'm going to ask Caleb to take one step backwards with me, and five, six, seven, and eight, and step. And you notice he comes up on the ball of the feet, and then he uses that right foot to push off. That gives him the energy to go backwards. The next step would follow the same pattern. You would go up on the platform of the foot just as you did with the left foot. So I'm going to get Caleb to give you a demonstration of four steps backwards now, noticing how he goes up on the balls of the feet or the platform, and he stays very tall when he's moving backwards. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five. And notice whenever he stopped, because we only took four steps backwards, he stops in that position with the feet at a 45-degree angle. That helps him to keep his balance so he doesn't fall over to the left or fall over to the right. And he still has that great posture, the horns at a 10-degree angle, the head's at a 10-degree angle, and he looks like a million bucks. I hope that you've enjoyed our presentation. On the screen, you will see a way to contact all of the directors, my graduate assistants, and also the staff members that work with our marching ballerinas and our color guard. So if you have any questions at all about the Marching Southerners or how you can become a member of the Marching Southerners, please call one of us or email us, and I assure you we will get back with you as soon as possible and answer all of your questions. We want you to be a part of our family. Mm -hmm.